Yo, what's up? Duff here. Standing here with um, the Inmotion V13 and the Sherman S. Uh, this is going to probably be the last video that I do uh, regarding the V13. I wanted to take a moment, moment to go over the things that I really like about this wheel and the things that, um, that are, are, are somewhat negative about it. Uh, but there's a, to me, there's a lot more positives than negatives. Um, well, the first thing that's very obvious, I have seen these wheels side by side, look at the size difference with the, uh, the V13 compared to the Sherman S. This makes the Sherman S look small. It's a 22 inch wheel. It weighs, what, 110, 115 pounds, very heavy. Uh, despite that, it does maintain a thin profile uh, because of its size. Uh, and because it has a 3000 watt hour battery, whereas the Sherman S has a larger battery. Um, as far as the things that I, let's get the things that I don't, that I'm not thrilled about with the V13 out of the way. Okay, because let's get, let's get the bad out of the way first. Or not, not the bad, but just less than great. Uh, the suspension on this wheel, it's fine. It, 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 it works. Uh, I, I did have to bring the suspension pressure down for it to be comfortable for me, but I mean, you can tweak it however you want. Uh, the suspension gets the job done. It's just not, it's not the most comfortable suspension that I've ridden. I've ridden a lot of suspension wheels at this, at this point, uh, but the suspension is not a highlight for me with the V13. The obvious thing with the V13 that is uh, less than, than ideal is the amount of range out of the wheel. Despite it having a relatively large 3000 watt hour battery, um, uh, you know, I just did my range test video yesterday. I got 52 to 53 miles an hour. But the thing you have to remember is um, I was going very, very fast for most of that ride. I would say 75% of that ride, I was 30 miles an hour or faster. So, you know, speed, speed eats up your range always. So that is a negative. If you're looking for maximum range, you're not going to get the um, uh, best ranging class out of this wheel. Uh, and, and that kind of goes hand in hand. Like some people will be fine. Like, okay, well, you know, I'm okay, 50 miles for, for, you know, capacity isn't that bad. But when you factor in what this wheel costs, you know, approximately what, $4,500, $4,600, um, that's when the range is gonna irritate some people. You, you kind of think for that kind of money, you should be getting best range in class, uh, and you definitely are not. So really, those are the only three uh, subpar things that I would uh, I would mention. Oh, well, and the trolley handle. Like I said the other day when I was at the swamp, trolley handle, nice metal construction. You know, it's, it's, it's more durable than what's on the Sherman, obviously. But the handle on it is only good when you're trolling it around in like flat surfaces where you don't have anything that's gonna lean the wheel left or right or front to back because you just, you cannot get a lot of torque on that handle uh, on, the, um, on the trolley handle. It just, it kind of looks like the top of a cane basically. So not the best uh, idea there. So as far as things that I like about the, the uh, V13, I talked a lot about this in the five things video. So I'll just recap it quickly. Um, the engineering, obviously this wheel is very, very, very well engineered. Uh, it's demonstrated all over the place. When, when I opened it up uh, to uh, pull the motor, it, it just exudes that there's, there's care and thought uh, put into everything about this wheel. Um, I talked about these roll bars and how uh, crash resistant they are. You know, the rubber, the rubber uh, bumpers behind the metal to make it even more crash resistant. Um, the wheel, the wheel is well thought out. It's well engineered. I dare say it might be the, the most well engineered wheel that I've ever seen. The tire on the V13, I haven't had any problems with it. I haven't heard a lot of people complain about the tire. Tire is, is very suitable, knobby tire, big tire, very big tire. Um, the headlight, I've raved about the headlight on the V13. It is really bright. Uh, it's adaptive, it throws a wide beam quite far. It really is impressive. Uh, to me, the best headlight I've ever seen personally on an a, a EUC. Uh, let's see, what else? The pedals, uh, the pedals on this, uh, as far as grippiness goes, um, they, they're more grippy than the stock Sherman S pedals. Uh, Size-wise, they fit my feet pretty well. I have size 13 feet, I have pretty big feet. Uh, uh, as far as comfort goes, I would say uh, right in the middle. 
my feet were, were, were pretty much gone by the time I got back from that range test yesterday, 52, 53 miles. Uh, whereas when I did the range test on the Sherman, my feet felt significantly better on the Sherman. Uh, but the pedals are okay. The pedals are not, not bad and you can adjust them. You can adjust them uh, up and down if you want. And I think, I believe there is an adjustment for the angle as well. Um, let's see, what else, what else is positive about the, the V13? Actually, I mean, the overall biggest positive to me about the V13 is because of its size, because of its weight, um, it is the most stable wheel at speed that I have ever, ever ridden. Uh, my, my first ride to Dunkin' Donuts, I was cruising uh, 44 miles an hour based on the app. Uh, without even noticing it, no, without even realizing it, I, I just looked down. And I'm like, oh my god, this is this is this was that was I was cruising at usually what is my top speed for a very short period of time during my speed runs, uh, just because it was that it was that comfortable. It really was. So I mean, the V13 has a ton of great features as far as like being a open road cruiser. Um, I don't know that you're going to find a wheel that is better engineered to do that. Uh, all the engineering also plays into the safety precautions that they have built in to allow you to take this wheel up into the 50s, uh, 50 mile an hour range and still have plenty of overhead to keep you safe. So that is something, again, that is unique to this wheel. The only drawback is if you want to go really far, then uh, you're going to have to be doing some charging in between. So the V13 is a great wheel. The V13 uh, is one of the most impressive wheels I've ever seen. The only question I have in my head is, is it worth the money? Um, I'm not a big fan of the pricing of electric unicycles nowadays. I mean, it's, it's just crazy, you know, pushing $5,000 for an electric unicycle. It, it's just, I don't know, you know, when I got, when I got started, an expensive wheel was like $1,200. So it's kind of, it's kind of gotten crazy. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully that trend reverses over time, but I have a feeling it probably won't, more than likely. So, okay, so V13, great wheel. I've been very, very happy with it. Again, big thanks to Jason from eWheels. So now let's just talk about, and I have, I have kind of thrown it back and forth between the Sherman and the V13. I own the Sherman S. Um, this is on, on loan from eWheels. Uh, as, far as, as far as speed goes, the Sherman S can go almost as fast as the V13. Uh, albeit without uh, the, it, there is a large overhead with the Sherman S, especially if you don't turn on those extended high speed modes, which I do not have turned on. So you can go safely at speed. Because it's a smaller wheel, it does not feel as confidence inspiring at speed as the V13. But it's, it still is great. It is great. Um, as far as, let's see, comfort things, like I mentioned, the trolley handle on the Sherman S is not impressive either, but it's not really impressive on the, on the, uh, on the V13 either, so I don't really know that you would say there's a, a clear winner there. One thing that is missing from the V13 is a proper kickstand. I know you can buy one. You can buy one uh, for extra money, I believe, from InMotion. But I think that is a big omission with the V13. No, I mean, you can lay it on, on the crash bars. It's not stable. It, it is not stable. It's very easy to, to tip it over. Like I had it um, on a desk mat on, uh, on the floor in the office and it, it, it would not stay upright. It just kept falling over. Whereas the, the Sherman S with this kickstand is stable on carpet or hard surfaces. It's kind of weird that Elsa wants to get involved, huh? Okay. So anyways, yeah, no kickstand on, on the V13 is kind of crazy. It's too, I mean, it's so heavy. I mean, as long as you can put it on a stand, uh, it's, it's just too damn heavy. So uh, that is a miss uh, for the V13. Uh, as far as visually, uh, as far as the way that a wheel looks, now, of course, to me, the, the most important thing is the way a wheel rides and performs. Not how it looks, but visually, I, pref I prefer the look of the Sherman S uh, slightly more than the Emotion V13, although the V13 is not a bad looking wheel. Uh, but I prefer the visual on the Sherman S. Uh, pedals, like I already said, as far as grip, uh, if, you, if you go stock pedal to stock pedal, the, the um, pedals on the V13 are better. Uh, the comfort on the stock pedals of the Sherman were better for me. And these upgraded E-Rides pedals that I have are better uh, in looks, comfort, and, and uh, grippiness, because it has more spikes. Definitely is better in that regard. Headlight, V13 has a better headlight. And I'm um, trying to think, let's see, what else? Well, I mean, the, the other obvious thing that there's a large difference is range. 
The Sherman S is uh, a 3600 watt hour battery. It has a 100, 100 volt motor. This has a 126 volt motor. Uh, this motor has probably more, well, I don't know. This is a torquey motor, uh, probably similar in torque, but this is definitely a more powerful motor that is in the V13 than the Sherman S, but it's a bigger, it's a bigger tire. So you kind of need that power to, um, to offset that diameter of tire. Um, but as far as range goes, the Sherman S uh, is significantly better. I did a very similar range test in the Sherman S and I got right around 70 miles. Again, I was traveling 30 miles an hour for most of that uh, range test doing the same course as I did with the V13. So you figure, uh, you know, it got, it got um, what, 40% more range? And that's significant. That's significant to a lot of people. Sherman S is not cheap. Uh, I think right now E-Wheels has them for what, $4,100 or $4,200 on their site? So th this is a very expensive wheel as well. But um, it's very close in top speed uh, and it crushes the V13 on range. So if those things are important to you, um, another thing that you can you can compare the displays the display on the V13 versus the Sherman. The Sherman uh, has a functional display, uh, but there's no question that the display in the V13 is better. It's full color. It's capacitive. Uh, you can do a lot of the controls that you use the Emotion app for on the wheel. Um, you can, you can kind of do some of that on the Sherman S uh, control, but it, it's, it's clunky in comparison. It's, it's not uh, very uh, intuitive, let's put it that way. Uh, as far as visibility goes, this, this kind of display has an a issue in full sun. The LCD display that is on the Sherman S is more visible in more uh, light conditions. So that's, that's a positive for the Sherman S, right? I'm trying to think, what else is there to compare? Um, I mean, the bottom line is, if someone, if someone sat both of these wheels next to me and they said, okay, Duff, um, and after I have had a chance to test both of them, as I have, um, you can have one of these wheels for free, okay? You pick, but only one. Um, if that choice was in front of me, I would still be picking the Sherman S. Um, but it would be close because the V13 is a very nice wheel and, the, and realistically, I do not ride long distances on a regular basis uh, except for doing range tests. So, I mean, if, if I was being practical, um, you know, the V13 would fit a lot of my needs, but uh, overall, I still prefer the Sherman S over the V13. So I think that wraps it up. I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that I have not answered um, or that, that I was thinking about. Okay, one other thing. Uh, now, I have not taken the Sherman S apart. I have not changed the tire. I haven't done anything to the motor, but I have seen what's involved. Again, when you go back to the engineering, like if you're into changing tires or if you want ease of changing, like if you get a flat, if you have to change a tube, the V13 uh, is significantly easier to do that. To drop the motor is not hard. Uh, it's not hard at all. I would say it's along the lines of what's involved with doing the Kingsong S22, which again, is not that hard. So uh, that, is, that is one positive for the V13. And there are a lot of positives for this wheel. So anyways, guys, that's gonna, uh, that's gonna wrap it up. It's gonna be the end of my V13 uh, experience. Uh, I uh, have to reach out to Jason. Uh, he says something about me possibly getting the EX30 to, to uh, evaluate. I would love to do that. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Uh, but I've had a really good experience with the V13. It's a, it's a good wheel. And if one of the most important things to you is being safe, being safe at speed, you're gonna have a hard time finding a wheel that uh, provides that more than the V13. They do a lot of things to try to keep you safe on this wheel. So it's a good thing. So that's all I have guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, uh, you got a lot of V13 videos you could watch. Um, but if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell that's over there somewhere. And uh, yeah, I think, I think that's it. You know, I've, I've talked a lot about the V13, uh, but I'll be, next few weeks, we'll be talking a lot about moving too, right? So, uh, oh, well, want to take a second? Thank my channel members. Here's my newest list of channel members. I have a couple of new people. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you want to do the same, if you can just hit the join button, super inexpensive. Uh, the last few videos I've been posting, I've been releasing them to members first for a period of time. So members get first crack at it. And actually members get, uh, access to some videos that are not public and may not ever go public. Uh, so that is something that members get as well. And um, yeah, so that's important to you. It's 
it's very easy to do. So, all right, guys, hope you have a great Monday night. I hope you have a great week. And uh, until next time, Duffman out. Uh, let's put these things away. Yeah, since I'm, since I'm moving, I just kind of have wheels scattered around the house. I don't really care where they are right now. <laughs> They're all gonna get moved soon anyway, so who cares? They're just like in the middle of the floor. The advantages of being single, right? It's one of the advantages. Do whatever the hell you wanna do, whenever you wanna do it. Yes, Elsa. What's up? Do you have commentary? What? What's up? Honey, I'm talking. Okay. Come on, go, go lay down. Go lay down. Honey, go lay down. Come on, let's go.